Hey friends, welcome to Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort. I'm gonna take you inside this beautiful tower, show you all around, and we'll even check out some of the fun and unique opportunities that you have if you're staying at this DVC resort. So coming up to the front of the building, this is gonna be your curbside area to drop off and unload. Walking into the main lobby, you'll have plenty of spots to check in with the different concierge hosts straight ahead. To your right is going to be bag services, um, and they're gonna be able to help you get all your luggage up to your room. You're gonna see a US mailbox, and then making your way down the hallway to the left, we're gonna find the community hall. Now, community hall is gonna be home to all sorts of fun activities that you and your little ones can participate in. They have all fun arts and crafts and all kind of really cool, like homemade souvenirs that you can do. Um, when my sister and I were last here, we actually painted um, our own uh, Cinderella's castle. Um, they have all sorts of fun festive things too if you're gonna be um, at Bay Lake during the holidays. They have tumblers birdhouses um, they even have those iron on beads I don't know if any of you guys ever did that when you were younger um, they of course they have Mickey tie-dye but they have keychains buttons and pins they also have a movie spot where you can watch classic Disney films you can rent DVDs here and even board games um, and as you can see it's just kind of a really cool fun hangout a great place to uh, spend if the weather is bad or if it's raining outside um, and you can't be in the parks or if you're here for a staycation Inside of the main lobby, you're also gonna see a list of recreation activities that take place here specifically at Bay Lake Tower and over at the main contemporary building. So make sure to take a look at that so you'll know all the times. Coming outside of the main lobby of Bay Lake Tower, you're gonna to see this beautiful courtyard with this running fountain. At night, this fountain glows and it's absolutely beautiful. Bay Lake Tower also has its very own putt-putt course. Very small, um, but kind of nice, you know, to get out there uh, with a little golf club and balls. They also have their own shuffleboard set as well. If you have a room facing the courtyard or pool or even the lake, you will not be disappointed. You'll get to see this beautiful courtyard every day when you wake up, and it is remarkably quiet. Um, they have a pool table. They also have a giant Connect Four like they do over at the main contemporary building. And then of course, just like any DVC resort, you're going to have your own pool and splash area. Something that is often overlooked and I think forgotten about at Bay Lake Tower is that um, it does have its own special grills just like any other DVC resort. So if you make your way down this pathway, um, to the left you're gonna see that there is a running trail that connects to the contemporary. So if you use the running trail, you're going to run all the way around this tower um, but if you make your way down here to the left you're going to find picnic tables a covered awning and barbecue grills if you need any barbecue grill essentials utensils go to community hall they'll be able to give you guys them but even if you don't uh, plan on grilling this is such a quiet spot and it's so beautiful to have a little picnic with your family now let's check out the pool. Um, with this pool, you're gonna have a slide. Um, just like any other, you know, DVC pool, I will say that it is pretty crowded. Um, I would say if you're looking for more of a quieter pool area, I probably would go over to the contemporary and go to the quiet zone. Uh, Bay Lake Tower does have its own beach as well with little chairs and kind of couches where you can lounge. But I often found that the pool area here was pretty crowded. So if that's not, you know, your cup of tea, just keep that in mind. Next to the pool, they also have Cove Bar that serves up specialty beverages, snacks, and light fare open from 11 to 8 p.m. every single day. Also right off of Cove Bar, they do have their own locker room. Um, you are welcome to use this locker room after you've checked out and even before you've had access to your room um, you can get changed in there there's showers bathrooms and then they even as you could see there have individual lockers that you can use coming outside of the pool area if you go off to your left here um, you're going to see beautiful views of bay lake um, and as you make your way around this is actually part of the running trail that goes completely around bay lake tower onto the other side 
On the other side of the cove bar, kind of back where we just were, they also had a fire pit all the way back. So um, this is behind the pool um, and you know, Florida, not often do you need to sit around the fire for warmth, but it is beautiful. Um, of course, you have this lush landscape here, and then I'm gonna give you guys a shot right here. You can see here is the pool and the slide, and there is Bay Lake Tower behind us. Now, if you are coming from Bay Lake Tower from the main contemporary building, you're going to come up to the fourth floor, and this is going to be where you're going to have Chef Mickey's, um, you're gonna have all the gift shops, and if you walk past the gift shop, BVG, you're gonna come out and see this observation deck, but if you bear right, you're gonna have a covered walkway that will lead you to Bay Lake Tower. Now this walkway actually is a great spot to pause and just take a look at Bay Lake. You can take photos of the fireworks and watch them from here, but do be forewarned that this walkway is completely open. So that means that when there's rain, when there's wind, you're gonna feel it. So just be aware that even though the walkway is covered um, with it being open on the sides, you do get quite a bit of a breeze up here. Um, and if you have rain that's going sideways, you will get wet. Now, one thing that I do really enjoy about Bay Lake Tower is that on each of the floors, they always have observation windows where you can look out and just see the different sites of Bay Lake. So make sure that you pause and take a minute to look out of these windows. They have really nice views of um, the patio area and just this back pool area but then if you go in the hallways where the elevator is located those are facing the front of the building or facing the parking lot you're going to have these amazing theme park views of Tron, Space Mountain and the castle and they even put in telescopic windows so when you look through these windows it makes it seem like the castle is a lot closer than it actually is so even if you don't have a theme park view room here take a minute if you go in the hallways you'll still be able to see um pretty nice shots of the castle as well on the first floor as well guys they do have a laundry room i didn't spend a lot of time in this area just because there were individuals in here doing laundry and i wanted to respect their privacy but do know that on the first floor there is a laundry room as well so there is one other unique thing that I do wanna show you guys about Bay Lake Tower, and that is going to be a secret lounge that is actually at the very top. On the top floor of Bay Lake Tower is Villain's Lair. Villain's Lair is a lounge that serves specialty drinks and small plates, and then during firework, time they actually will pump in the music and the audio you can watch the fireworks from inside the lounge or out on the patio on the outside of the lounge as well the lounge does fill up pretty quickly so if you wanted to have a spot inside i would recommend getting there pretty early but if you just want to stand out on the patio here it is absolutely gorgeous and you have such beautiful views of magic kingdom the other magic kingdom resorts it is an amazing spot to be able to watch the fireworks if you're staying at the contemporary the only way that you can do this is if you dine at california grill um, but if you're a disney vacation club member this is all included with your membership and this is a exclusive spot that only DVC members can get into so I would highly recommend going there's lots of little hidden Easter eggs with inside of the lounge because it's supposed to be that at the end of the day this is where the Disney villains hang out since this is Disney World this is a family or a kid friendly lounge as well so when we were inside there were plenty of families and lots of kids that were here as well I also wanna let you guys know that to the right of Bay Lake Tower, you will find tennis courts. You can get tennis rackets and tennis balls from the community hall. And if you come out 
of the parking lot of Bay Lake Tower to the very end, you can actually pick up the walkway that will take you directly to the Magic Kingdom. This is really nice. You get a separate security checkpoint and entrance to the Magic Kingdom. It's a huge time saver because you don't have to wait in line for the monorail or for boat transportation. Now, if you are staying at Bay Lake Tower, be aware that all of the luxuries, all the restaurants, the dining, recreation activities that the contemporary um, main tower guest and garden room guest are able to participate in, you get to participate in as well. So definitely make sure to take a short walk right over to the contemporary. It only takes you about two to three minutes if you're using that walkway. And then if you're going from ground level to um, Bay Lake Tower over to the main contemporary building, I would say probably around five minutes. Well, thank you guys so much for coming with me for this tour of Bay Lake Tower. If you're looking for a tour of Disney's main contemporary building, go ahead and click the link above so you can see all the dining, shopping, and fun that awaits you there. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!